Hey guys, it is currently the 5th of April and I'm back in my little studio here. I got my iPad set up. I'm going to watch something on there in just a little bit while I'm trying to finish up some things that I've got on the go because I have way too many projects um, that I have started here. I guess I should introduce myself after all of that. I'm Karina. I'm also known as the Artistic Newfie here on YouTube and other social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Threads, you name it. I'm there. I have an Etsy shop. You can find all the links down in the description below. I am just getting over having some kind of a head cold. It seems to be going around real good here where I'm living. And in other parts of the province, um, I guess I've talked to a few people that have been sick in the past little while with head cold, sore throat kind of deal. I'm almost over it. I actually just finished recording um, my last video towards the end, just like a day or two ago. So as you can tell, I'm just picking up where I left off and I'm not better yet. Anyway, um, I got a crap ton of stuff over here that I want to get finished. I got this mushroom on the go. You're going to look at my kitchen. I've got my stands out there on the counter because when I brought them to the craft event or the market um, just the other week, I've noticed that along the edges, um, I didn't really get enough paint into the um, press wood, press board. I don't know what it's called. Um, and you can see like little bits of brown. So I'm just going over that and painting the underside where it was white and black because it didn't look nice. Um, <laughs> right on Pixie. Uh, so that's what I'm doing out there. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting for that first coat of paint to dry, uh, I'm going to work on some of the stuff in here. I've got a, that dinosaur started over there and I've got the sloth, the Cthulhu and my dragon or my goat, I mean, and then I've got, um, a stitch right there that needs to get sewed together for, um, pickup for next week or delivery. And then I have this, um, let me flip you around. So I have this uh, mushroom here for from Lyra Loon Designs that uh, I purchased last week. I did um, spend $20 of the money that I earned at the last market back into uh, this, my hobby, business, maybe a business. I don't know what it's called. Um, we're working that out. I, I spent, the, she had a bundle, get six patterns for $18. So I picked um, her mushroom sets and I got some dragons as well, which is something we work on later. But uh, this one here is kind of cute. I'm not really a fan of this butterfly up here. I got to do some uh, maneuvering with this thing. It's very heavy and I tried gluing on these uh, little dots because there's not a whole lot of sewing room there. I did glue them on and the, the craft glue that I bought, I'm going to show you what it is. Um, I got it at the dollar store but it does say fabric glue. Do not buy this. It is an utter waste of money it does not work if you want to get glue that actually keeps stuff on just go get the regular kids pvc glue or P is that what it is pvc glue white glue for kids um like the elmer stuff works so much better than a fabric glue um i actually wasted some money there so it was only two bucks but anyway this is what i got going on we're going to try to get some of the stuff taken care of this week i need to make at least um thinking somewhere along the lines of five to six seven eight hundred dollars worth of inventory by the end of april for geek fest and right now i'm at about 1200 bucks so i've got to get cracking and making some stuff and uh this one here just has the um i need to embroider the eyebrows the mouth and then i have to sew on the hood here and fix that butterfly then that one is done but uh like i said i do have that stitch to get finished as well and the lady uh that actually oh my god you can hear pixie coughing in the background she's okay this is a normal thing for her now until you know until the, the worst happens but she she's happy she's outside playing um Anyway, I've got to make two more of these at some point in time for the same lady. So that will be four stitch stitches <laughs> that I've had to make for her. Anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to get some work done, watch something on my iPad right here. And let's see what we can get um, by Thursday of next week. It's currently Friday. We'll see what we can get done by Thursday of next week. And I'll keep you in the loop on what I've got on the go. It's currently, I never checked the date, I believe it's the 8th, it's the solar eclipse day today. I don't think we're going to see much of anything here in Newfoundland and we are in the path of what they're calling totality. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, so we're going to get complete coverage around 514 or so. I don't know if you guys care or not, but I don't think we're going to see anything. You can't really, can I focus outside? It's a very gray day out there. 
and I don't think we're going to see much of anything unless the sky clears up in the next little bit. It's almost lunchtime. It's around 12, maybe, I think. <laughs> Let's see what time it is. What time is it? Uh, yeah, it's 12 o'clock. And I have been printing out some new tags because I have created some slightly, uh, a little bit more expensive items for the market, for Geek Fest, for the expo, convention, whatever you want to call it. And um, I got some big mushrooms made and they're more than the cheaper tags that I had printed off. So I'm doing some prices within the range of $40 to $60. So I have some extra price tags for that. Um, we'll get into that in a bit. We had um, quite an interesting weekend. Uh, some things happened over the weekend on social media that I wasn't expecting and I'll talk to you about that in just a little bit. I'm trying to do some market prep and I'm trying to finish up items that I had previously started and put off to the side. So a lot of work in progress pieces, whips I guess. Uh, and I have um, two items left to do that I've started that I haven't finished. And today, um, the big thing for me is to get the stitch commission done that I was asked to do. And uh, I need to get that sewed together and get that uh, shipped, not shipped off, but delivered to Gander because the lady that purchased it is uh, in the next town over. So we're going to try to get that done today. And I have to cut out the eyes, the felt and glue them on and what have you, provided I have some glue to use. I may have to get Jeremy to buy me some glue if my glue is all dried up because I left the cover off of it. All right, so let's do like a little story time type thing here while I am sewing. I know you can't see my face. It's a little bit of a weird angle. I can't help it. Um, it is what it is. As long as you guys can see what it is I'm doing, um, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, let me know how you feel about the angle. Maybe I can try to figure something out. I don't know. Maybe do, Does anyone want to go live? Like want me to go live while I'm sewing together projects and do like a live stream? I mean, I don't know how much I'll be able to talk, but... Um, typically when I'm drawing and painting, it's hard for me to talk and do that at the same time. So I don't know if I'd be any better at crocheting or, um, like sewing pieces together and talking at the same time. But I mean, if someone wants me to give it a go, I can, we can try it. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about what happened over the weekend. Let me see if I can get the right side of this before we continue. Uh, we, I made a post over on threads. And I did not expect to get the, I guess, um, the act, the, the reaction that I got. I mean, it, it wasn't bad by any means. I had posted that I was on uh, a, a Facebook group and I was saying that um, someone had posted an image um, of, of actually this stitch pattern that I'm working on and someone had mentioned that um they were working on the pattern and they were having a hard time and they wanted to know if someone could help them with something and I said you know sure um I can help I, I've made the pattern a couple times now and uh I said what is it that you need help with and somebody else came on to that exact same what do you call it? The exact same post. And they had said, can you send me the pattern? Uh, I have no clue who this particular person is. I've never talked to this person before in my life. And they just point, uh, they, they just asked me for a pattern that I paid for. And of course I said no, because, you know, I, I understand that cr the designers put in a lot of work and everything to, to these things. And, um, if I can pay for it, somebody else can pay for it. <laughs> anyway, I had mentioned that, no, sorry, I'm not going to give out the pattern. And I didn't think it was right to do so. And I instantly became the most hated person in that post on this group. And I'm not going to, someone over on threads had asked, um, what the name of the group was. And I'm not going to share it because I mean, why would you want to be associated with such negativity anyway? But it had to do, um, and I don't mind sharing this bit about it because I'm sure there's more than one, but it had to do with the Tidu. Is that how you pronounce that? The, the Tidu app or something where they're apparently, um, afterwards I found out there's a lot of, um, bad things happening on that account where people are sharing paid patterns and passing things around that they shouldn't be. So 
one, I've got rid of the app, and two, I have um, got out of the Facebook group, but I kind of wanted to share my experience over on Threads because it seems like a very, um, it could be a comfortable place to share your stories, uh, share things with like-minded people, and I just wanted to post about, um, what happened and that I was called nasty and it was people like me that were causing a problem because I wouldn't share and and things like that but in reality um I did the right thing and a lot of people over on threads kind of agreed with me and it came to the point that my phone just blew up over the weekend to the point I had to turn off my notifications because I was getting so many people commenting on this post over on threads and I ended up gaining a whole bunch of followers over the weekend. Um, my subscribers here on YouTube went up. I mean, it was just absolutely crazy. I mean, it wasn't by thousands of people now, but I mean, it was like a, a couple of hundred people um, commented on this post and a lot of people had followed me. I think I gained about 250 followers, um, maybe close to 200 over on on threads so it was an experience i can tell you that it was an experience so if you are here because of what i had posted over on uh threads thank you for joining youtube over on my channel um here at my channel i should say and um I hope you enjoy the content that I have and I'm actually really appreciative that um, so many people kind of agreed with what I had said and um, I knew that there were going to be a lot of people that would have agreed with me anyway because I mean there's a lot of people who are pattern designers and they don't want to have their stuff stolen. So that was that. So it was a very interesting weekend and um, it was nice to see some new followers, and like I said, I did not post this um, for the simple fact of trying to get that attention. I had no clue that was going to happen, um, but I'm kind of glad I did share the story. But um, yeah, there's there's a lot of people that, that share things that they shouldn't share, and people get away with a lot of things they shouldn't. And it's not fair. I have respect for the designers because I'm just going to say this. Right now, I am currently self-employed, not by choice. I have not been able to find a job uh, here where I'm living. Even though I've applied to over 60 positions, um, I barely get an interview. And it's been very frustrating because I do, I do need a full-time or at least a part-time job in town that I'm able to work at so I can pay bills obviously like anyone else but right now the only thing that I have that's actually helping me pay my bills are going to these markets and I wouldn't be going to these markets if I wasn't able to access the patterns that I'm getting because these patterns are what's making me income and if it wasn't for the designers making the patterns that I could buy to be able to make the income, um, I wouldn't be able to pay some of my bills right now. So, I mean, for me to go out and steal somebody's work and then try to sell it, um, that is just wrong. So I'm just, I'm thankful that there are designers out there who allow people to purchase their items and sell what they make to be able to profit off of it. And by doing so, I do not have a problem if I'm going to make three or $400 off of a pattern, like, you know, over time, I don't have a problem with paying five bucks for that pattern. Cause I only have to sell one item and I have that pattern paid for you know, maybe five times over and that's completely okay. And I just wish more people would think of it that way. And even if you want to crochet and you can't afford to buy patterns, there are tons of patterns online um, that you can actually get that are free that you can find on people's blogs and, uh, and, and things like that. So there really is no need of stealing a designer's pattern. I just want to let you guys know that I have reached out to the person who owns the pattern that I've found on multiple occasions and have passed along and said, hey, you know, I was surfing on Pinterest. 
uh, I came across this and uh, you might want to have a look into it because someone is sharing your pattern online like page for page completely you know it, it's not right but you know I did what I could do and um, that that's really all I could do was just try to pass on the information and I just wanted to share my experience and I got the reaction that I got so I mean it was uh it was a little bit overwhelming but I'm kind of glad that that I did it and I did not get one snarky comment from what I posted there was nobody arguing within the comments of that post that I had put up so it was really nice to see um, people talking about this sharing their experiences and um you know the designers there were just some designers there saying that uh you know th there needs to be more people um like me who who would do the right thing and just not freely share things that's you know not technically mine to share so it's kind of it's neat uh if you want to go over you, i'm sure you could fish through my um threads app and or my threads feed and you can kind of see the conversation and you can read what other people are saying and um, how it's even affecting people uh, not even in the crochet community but artists musicians um, um, other people who have digital work that things are just being shared um, when it shouldn't be so I'll leave it at that it's there if you want to go and and take a peek but I think I'm gonna have to finish doing this off camera because it's getting to be a little bit difficult on my hands, so I may need to take a bit of a break. Um, one thing I've noticed about doing the stitch, this one here looks a little bit different than the first one that I did, and I think it's all because of tension. So I, I've told the um, the lady that's purchasing this that uh, she can't really compare it to the other one because they're going to look different, and I think that's why. But. I'm going to go and finish sewing this piece on and when I get, um, probably when I get the head attached, I'll come back and show you what it looks like because the head is a little bit tricky to get on and I kind of have to pin it a certain way, but hopefully we'll get this one done today and then we can move on to some other things. Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop in and say we are in the middle of the solar eclipse and we do have some cloud cover. Um, the sun is shining in my window, but it's clearly not picking it up on um, on the camera. It's a little bit off to the side there. So hopefully by the time it gets into the full coverage, more of the clouds will be gone. And maybe I'll be able to look for a couple of seconds because you can look at it for like bare seconds um, when it is completely covered over. That's what I'm reading everywhere and I'm seeing that it's safe to do so for like seconds. But I've been sitting here working on stitch. I almost got them done. Let me flip you around. So this is what I've got done to stitch. And I have the eyes and everything cut out. But let me just show you the other ones that I've got done as well. So I finished this spider and because of the color of it, it's very hard to pick up on my camera, but it's a big spider. And I finished this one over the weekend. I had parts of it done for a while now, but I just needed to get it finished. And <laughs> it's getting bright in the room again. Um, then we have this sloth. This one here is not my favorite. He kind of looks a little bit derpy, but I did it exactly the same way as I did all the other ones. And then we have this guy right here, which is a little Cthulhu. And again, this one looks a little bit different than the last one I've done as well. It's a little bit bigger. And then we have this little, um, they're not even, I don't know why I keep calling them little because they're really not little. Uh, the mushroom here from Lyra Loon Designs. And um, I have that one ready. All right, guys, just a little update on the eclipse. It is five o'clock and it is getting dark. It is getting dark. In another 14 minutes, it's supposed to be complete coverage. So by quarter after five, it should be complete dark outside. And I'm going out to see if I can have a look, see what I can see. You guys, it is super dark. It is super dark outside. Look at that. Holy crap, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. 
can you i don't know i'm trying to get it i'm trying to get it i have a very very small window to be able to look at this with my naked eye there's also a planet down right there it's going to come out again here in a second oh that's really cool it is so dark outside it's like it got like tonight like instantly but i only have like two minutes where i can see this thing and um wow that is pretty cool you guys that was super cool i'll never see that ever again in my lifetime and the, the moon is still crossing over it's very bright jeremy saw a little bit of it as well they actually let him out of a, out of his appointment um he had a physio appointment today they let him out just a little bit early so he'd be able to go outside just as it started to move away so he was able to see a little bit of it it got so dark outside that was super cool so anyone that was able to watch it with like solar glasses would have gotten a really nice show all right, so it is the 9th of April, and last night I managed to finish another mushroom. I just need to sew it together. Uh, I did this after Jeremy got home and we had supper and everything. This is supposed to be a chanterelle mushroom. When I was at the last market at the, the mall in, in Gander, the Fraser Mall, the last video, um, I had a few people ask me if I was going to have some more mushrooms for the market for Geek Fest for the um, convention, I guess. So I've been busy making mushrooms and this little guy here is turning out really cute. He's going to have like a water droplet that's coming off the top of the head over there. And like I had mentioned, like I have the arms and the legs and everything that still need to get, um, sewed on. So I'm going to do that today, but I also need to finish the stitch as well. All right, so I thought I would kind of give you a little behind the scenes of how I put the felt eyes onto the amigurumi pieces that I do put felt eyes on. This is kind of really between this one and the Jack Skellington are really the only two that I've done this with. I don't have a Cricut mat uh, or the adhesive that you see people using to uh, make all these felt eyes. Uh, I cut the eyes out by hand. They are not 100% perfect, but they they look fine. Um, and I don't have that adhesive to stick things on. Uh, and I just use the uh, white glue, like Elmer's glue, kind of. I don't know the brand name on the bottle that I have there. It's not Elmer's, but you could use Elmer's glue. Um, it, white glue, it's all the, all the same. Uh, but I think maybe I should invest in some of that uh, double-sided tacky tape. I'm just starting to think that maybe it would be a little bit easier to work with. I don't know, because usually when you're doing that, you put the felt onto the double-sided adhesive, and then you put that on your amigurumi plush, if I'm getting that right. I've never done it before, and I've never ordered felt, like, pre-made eyes from anyone before, so I, I really am just talking out of my rear here. I don't exactly know the process of it, but I mean, this process here works. So for those of you who maybe can't afford to buy anything but felt and craft glue, I don't get fabric glue because clearly it, it doesn't work. I've, I've showed that. Um, but if you don't have the funds to spend, you know, 15 plus dollars on a mat, 15 plus do dollars on that adhesive uh, backing and then, you know, 15 plus dollars for the heat transfer vinyl that you see people using. I mean, this works fine and it gives a really nice handmade effect as well. I mean, it's not, um, it's not as well done as the felt safety eyes that you see people buying on Etsy, of course, because most of those are, are really nice looking. But if you don't have that option, I don't see any reason why you can't do what I'm doing here. And it still makes the piece look really nice. And I'm just using some small stick pins to keep it in place while it's drying. And you can just pull them out after and kind of just rough it up a little bit. Um to fill in the little tiny pinhole and if you're using black you don't even see it but if I found when you're using like a different color of felt like maybe the white you could see like a little pinhole in there but it's easy to fill that in and I mean I've seen people needle felt eyes onto amigurumi plushes as well so that's another option but I just wanted to show you guys my process of going about the felt eyes when I'm not using all the expensive stuff that other people are using and I hope it's helpful. It 
is Friday. It's just quarter after uh, 12 and I'm kind of not really in the mood for a lot today. Uh, I'm gonna pick at some crochet stuff clearly. Um, I do have my sketchbook and everything out there and I was thinking about sitting down to take maybe a half an hour for myself and to maybe just sketch something. I was watching some art videos earlier and it's kind of putting me um, in the, the want, um, I'm getting that want to be creative outside of crochet. Again, I don't know if it's just a today thing or if maybe my um, creativity is coming back. I haven't drawn anything on my iPad since I think November, December uh, ish, and it is now middle of April. I have no want to sit down and draw on my iPad. And it was something that I did um, daily, every day for quite some time, for like five years. And uh, in this past year, I've I've really not wanted to do any art. And I have all of this art supplies sitting here and I'm doing nothing with it. So I think I need to make a point to take some time for myself during each day, even if it's just 15 minutes, to maybe sit down and just sketch something really quick. And maybe that might get me in more of a mindset to want to sit down and create more. I know that working on the crochet projects right now is a big deal because I am unemployed at the moment and working on these crochet projects, getting them done, getting them sold is how I'm paying my bills. And I have um, the other mindset of I can't do anything else right now besides that. And I can honestly feel the onset of burnout and I'm having a lot of self doubt and things like that. And I'm just this past week, um, I just haven't been in a very good mind space when it comes to all of that. And I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to look at each day um, with positivity. And I'm, I'm trying to do what I can moving forward to um, be in a good mindset. And just I'm, I'm trying to take one day at a time, if that makes sense. Um, because I know I could wake up Monday and have a email saying that I have a job interview or I may get a phone call next week at any given day saying that I have an interview or someone's offering me a job. I don't know. Uh, so I'm, I'm just trying to keep that in mind. So I do apologize if I'm coming off a little bit unenthusiastic sometimes. It's just it's very difficult right now on a personal level with everything that's going on around me and trying to put all my focus into... Um, certain things and that was one of the reasons why I wanted to include the bit of footage from the eclipse because you can actually see me get a little bit excited about something <laughs> so uh, I please forgive me for not being 100% enthusiastic all the time but I do hope you enjoyed the video for what it was let me know if you saw the solar eclipse you're probably sick and tired of hearing about it now but let me know down in the comments leave a uh, emoji of a sun or a moon or, or something elemental um, to let me know you made it to the end of the video. Let me know if you saw the eclipse. Let me know um, if you've been working on anything creative lately, whether it be crochet projects or if you're doing some arty stuff for yourself um, or anything else that you wish to share. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to get the vlog edited and get it up. And I hope you guys, like I said, enjoy the video for what it was. And I hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.